is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that sounds good to me. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Before we get to plugs and before we get to shout outs, I want to give you the information that I have now regarding my taxes. It's good and bad news, all right? So here's the good news, all right? I misunderstood how a lot of the tax stuff worked. I thought that if I didn't pay my taxes by April 15th, that I was going to have a ridiculous amount of late fees, a ridiculous amount of interest, and like it was going to destroy me. Like Not only would I owe what I owe for my regular taxes for the year, but also then there would be a ton of extra shit on top of it. Actually, in reality, that's not how it works. Um, the way it works is I have until the middle of April to pay what I, what I pay, and then based on what I don't pay, then it begins to accumulate interest and fees and the like. So in reality, even though the federal government tells you you have to pay your taxes quarterly in the United States, like they say, oh, if you're self-employed, you have to pay every quarter, you have to pay a certain amount of money based on your estimates of what you're going to make. You actually don't have to do it at all. It's complete bullshit. <laughs> they actually, what it really is true, they slap you with a little fine, um, and that's it. So, you guys, so I have to pay a little fine because I didn't pay the taxes over the course of the year the way they wanted me to. But there's actually no other penalty for it until I don't pay in time, okay? <clears throat> so, that's the, that's the good news because I was like, man, not only am I going to owe what I owe, but then on top of that, there's going to be this ginormous amount of extra money and how will it even be manageable? Um, and the truth is, that's, that's not it, okay? <sighs> so that's good, all right? The bad news is I do still owe a giant chunk of money and yes, it is due by mid-April. And yeah, I don't have enough money to pay it. Hell no. Even So I do have, just pure pure clarification purposes, I do have some money, yes, absolutely, from the large amount of subscriptions that were gifted to me by Emerald 7 back in December. Okay? But it's only a certain amount of money, and I knew it wasn't going to be enough to pay the taxes. It's not even close. All right? So to give you guys some perspective here, all right, in regards to the amount that I owe, plus there's another thing, I have to pay my accountant, obviously, for not my accountant, my uh, tax guy, for doing all my taxes and everything. And he's charging me over $1,000 to do it, to do the taxes, which is not surprising. Tax guys usually charge a lot of money. Um, so, regarding, I'm, instead of giving you complicated math, which is going to just confuse the shit out of everybody, I'd be like, I have this much, but I owe this much, so then when you do the math of this much, but then I owe this for to do the taxes. So, this, uh, it's too complicated. What I did is I sat down, all right, and I figured it out math-wise. How much do I, do I still owe to, in total, even factoring in the amount of money that I have and everything to put towards it, all right? Even factoring in the amount of money that I put to put towards it, okay? Um, crap, I, but I didn't add that. <sighs> okay, I didn't even, so I didn't even do this right. I have to factor in, so this is what I owe, and this, this is how much he's going to charge me to do the taxes. So let me add these two numbers quickly. Hold on, everybody. Let me get my calculator out. So this plus this. Okay. All right. So. Factoring in all things and what I already have to put towards it, the, the net amount that I still am going to owe to the government, all right, $17,161. And then, of course, a thousand troll responses of negativity. He's greed. and Oh, it's Phil's greed. Oh, it's greed. Phil wants more. He always wants more. All right, it's pure greed and theft. It's illegal. This guy is a thief. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. Ouch. That is horrible, right? That's fucking insane amount of money. Yeah. That's what they're telling me I owe by mid-April. Okay. That is bad, all right? But, 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 but. We don't have to be disheartened yet, okay? Not yet, because there's some good news, all right? Here's what my tax guy told me, 
okay? He said, the good news is that he works with the government all the time. And he is very confident, all right, very confident, that if I can raise a certain amount of money by mid-April and put it to- towards this, that he's confident that he can take the rest of, of the, what I owe and he can negotiate it into a payment plan, okay? Now, what the payment plan would be and everything, I don't know. Basically, he's saying at least, at the very least, two years, if not longer. And if that's the case, like, if, let, let's say, for example, I'm just going to give you a hypothetical. Let's say... I can raise, uh, you know, let's just $5,000. Oh my God. Disgusting beggar. Let's say I can raise $5,000 between now and mid-April to put towards this total of seventeen grand that I still owe, okay? So then he'll take the remaining money and figure it out, divide it by 24, whatever, and say, okay, there's a monthly payment of this. But it's not guaranteed. Like, he's basically saying he's going to try to get me the best terms possible, but he can't do that until we see actually how much I have to put towards the taxes. You see what I mean? Like, once he has an amount, I say, okay, this is what you owe. I'll go to the federal government. I'll tell them the situation. And I'll, I'll put you on a direct program where every month they basically take it right out of your bank account. And as long as you do that and you agree to this, these terms, there's, like, no fees, no interest. You're not going to get destroyed. It's just going to be a set payment plan for, uh, you know, a set amount of, uh, of time. Okay? <laughs> now, I'm going to be very honest with everyone here. All right? I don't know if the payment plan is going to work. Because right now, as I told you guys, month to month, I'm having big difficulties just making ends meet. Um, just being very honest with all of you, okay? So, just being very honest here, you know, the payment plan might not work. It may be that he, he says, okay, here's what it is. I'm like, shit, well, I can't afford that. What I'm going to have to do now is call all my credit card companies and negotiate with them so that I don't have to pay as much every month. But that's probably going to freeze those cards so I can't use them anymore to do things like buy video games for the business or buy food. You know what I mean? And that might hurt my credit. I don't know how any of this is going to work out yet. Okay? I don't. I don't know how any of this is going to work out yet at all. All right? Um, the bottom line is this. It's not as bad as it, as it looked at first glance. At the same time, it's certainly not great news. Like, I would have been like to be told that the tax calculations were wrong based on my income or expenses and they were way le less. They're not. Um, so, in, in reality, okay... In reality, here's the here's the truth of the matter. I need to raise as much as I can by April 15th. The more I raise, the better the situation for me. Okay? That, it's, it's disgusting in my opinion. Like, I'm actually disgusted. So, if I can raise, you know, half of what I owe, alright, and, and have that to pay towards it, then the payment plan might actually be affordable. You see what I mean? It all depends on how much I can raise in the short term. Now... Worst case scenario, I raise nothing, in which case I can't even afford to put anything towards it. And then he basically said, if you can't, you know, pay it down at all, that you have to basically show good faith, okay? And he's like, if that's the case, then he doesn't know if he can even get me the payment plan, in which case I definitely wouldn't have to sell my house this year. I'm just going to be showing in default arrears or whatever it's called. Interest and fees will start accruing, and that's it. I got to sell my house. There's nothing I can do about it. It's the only way I can make the money, all right? Um, but what I'm hoping is that... You know, with this marathon on Saturday, you know, where we're trying to raise many tips for this situation, that I can raise enough to make a big dent in this tax total, all right? Get it down as much as I can, and that he can get me on a payment plan that's affordable for me. Phil's just a, one of the worst e-beggars. I e-beg, right? You're constantly asking your viewers and your fans for contribution. New phase of creation, you obviously have not listened to a word that I fucking said. I said that the total that I just told all of you is after any money I have left over from Emerald 7. You need to open your ears. Because I know it's people like you who basically start shit. Oh, well, Phil didn't say, oh, what did he do with all that money? I just explained that. I just said after all the money I have left over, this is the total left. So open your fucking ears. Because people like you do piss me off when you start. I just explained it, and now you act like I never said it. And then people will have weird conspiracy theories about where the money went. Okay? So stop it. Listen. Listen the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Why am I toxic? It's salty as fuck. It's like pure salt. All you could taste was salt. You couldn't taste anything else. Okay. Now. Jesus. So, here's the deal. I think it's time, you know, basically, now that I know what I owe, I know what I'm up against. In reality, if I can raise around $17,000, boom, I'm actually good. Like, that would put me in a good position. I'd be like, wow. I raised the money, the taxes aren't even an issue for this year, now I can just go on business as usual and not have to worry about it at all. Realistically, do I see myself raising $17,000 in three weeks? No. 
<laughs> just being very honest with all of you. All right? Being very, very honest with all of you, I don't foresee this happening whatsoever. Okay? I don't. Um, what I'm hoping is that with Sekiro right here around the corner, which is going to bring out a lot of people who normally wouldn't come by. Uh, with the marathon on Saturday, which I know a lot of people are going to probably come out and hopefully be generous and help out with tips. And with my birthday week coming up, the first week of April is actually my birthday on the 6th. And, you know, as I usually do, like last year, I'll have decorations and stuff. We'll try to hype it up. The hype, the hype buyers, the hype devourers. Yet these, these fuckers slurp it up like fucking noodles, like hype. Oh, ooh, I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat the hype. Oh, <laughs> wow birthday week fun and stuff hopefully some people will be generous and will will raise as much as i possibly humanly can all right and go from there you know if i can raise a big amount of money and put it towards the taxes i think i'll at least be in a, a good or better position than originally i had imagined obviously the goal here is to be in a position that i can afford where i'm not you know oh my god there's no way to pay bills and there's no way to pay what i owe so i have to sell my house all right i don't want to be in that position okay okay so yeah, so people are saying you should just do it. Do a $17,000 tips bar. <laughs> well, I'm not going to have a tips bar, but I definitely will have a running tally of what I've raised. Okay? Um, <clears throat> and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right? You know, like I, I told you guys, this Saturday is basically make or break for me, and it's true. You know, I need to raise a significant amount of stuff this coming Saturday um, in the hopes that I can make a giant dent in what I owe and, you know, and go from there. So we'll see how it goes. Okay? What I'm hoping for is the best. I'm hoping that we'll have some generous parties who will step up and contribute and help. Let's face it, is a money factory. Please give me your monies. Give me money, money. Give me your money. All right, so. Whew, that is it. That's the deal for now. Okay. Um, And we'll see how this how it works. Well, I, you know, I am feeling positive for Sekiro tomorrow and the marathon on Saturday. And, of course, this coming week we're going to have Sekiro paired with MLB. Um, and a lot of fun stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks, okay? So, that's the deal. Now, I also have another update, alright? I have another update in regards to my, my visit to Connecticut, alright? It's gonna be the second week of April, alright? It's, that's it, it's the second week of April. And I'm not gonna give concrete details on anything yet. I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, it's not gonna be a whole week either. It's looking more like it's going to be like five to six days. In reality, it's probably going to be a five-day visit, but two days are going to be like travel days, okay? Um, so I don't, you know, I, again, I don't want to give details. I'm afraid giving out too much information is going to allow assholes to try to fucking harass me and my family, which obviously is not the point here. The point is to spend time with my family, with Kat, and, and, and you know, have them meet Kat and spend time with each other and then spend time in Connecticut with Kat and all that. It's not, the point of this trip is not, uh, for work, there's not going to be any vlogging or work stuff done during the trip. I may take a few pictures, at the very least, but that's probably about it. Um, Alright, so, I will let you know exactly when, you know, when the day, when we get closer, what the dates will be. But more than likely, it's less than a week, and, um, it's going to be right at, probably right after my birthday, you know. Like, my birthday is April 6th, so I'll probably be here through my birthday, and then that'll be it. Then I'll be gone in Connecticut, and then I'll come back. And start up with things such as, if I'm still not done with Sekiro, which I might not be, and still doing MLB, but then at that point, the Phoenix Wright uh, collection will have released while I'm gone, I believe. And so maybe I'll come back and begin with Phoenix Wright, the third game in the series, as another thing that I balance with all my other stuff. And just keep doing that. Sekiro, MLB, and Phoenix Wright until MK11 comes out. Okay? <clears throat> okay? So, there you go. That's, that's another big update. But again, I will not have any... Um, I will not, again, I will not have any, you know, specific details on stuff until, like, the last minute, and even then, I'm not going to tell you guys that much, because, you know, I am. I'm honestly afraid of these really fucking weird people who are going to try to do stuff, <laughs> you know. I'm already making, I'm, trust me, I'm already making all kinds of preparations for this visit um, in regards to, you know, uh, things for the house here. Like, I'm going to have, I'm, we're actually going to have uh, people looking after the house and everything, so... You know, we're, we're basically doing due diligence here, okay? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> In 
summary, I owe just over $17,000 in taxes still to the government. And I need to raise as many funds as possible before the middle of April in order to put towards said taxes. Okay? The more I raise, the better. Even if I can't raise the full amount, the more I raise, the better situation it's going to put me in. When I go to the government and say, here's what I have, please put me on a payment plan for the rest of it. My tax guy is very confident that as long as I can raise a significant amount of money, uh, you know, between now and mid-April to put towards this, that we'll be able to get onto this payment plan. All right? So that's the deal. And that's why, you know, you don't have to feel dis discouraged or disheartened here. You don't. Because it's not like I absolutely 100% have to raise the full amount in this three weeks that I have, okay? It would be amazing if I could, and I'm certainly not saying, oh my god, you know, we don't, you know, wouldn't, I wouldn't want that. I mean, obviously, yes, if I could raise that full amount and boom, put it right towards it, holy shit, that would basically make my rest of my year be so much better. I don't have to constantly be worrying about this shit, okay? But the, but the, the bottom line is, you know, in reality, I'm pretty sure we all know I'm not raising that much. You know what I mean? Um, so... We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens with Sekiro. Let's see what happens with the marathon on Saturday. Let's see what happens with my birthday week. And let's hope for the best. And hopefully, you know, this can turn into something positive. And, you know, with between what I can actually realistically raise and everything, things work out well. Fuck you, you fucking greedy piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. That's your fault. That's your fault. You created that business model. You created a flawed business model, and now you're saying it's not, it's, there's nothing you can do about it? No, it's your business. You created the monster, you unleashed the monster, and now your complaint is, well, the monster's too powerful to control. Well, fuck you, that's your fault. All right, now, I, okay. DSP's biggest fan, who obviously is a troll in the stream, just says, didn't he get $250 in tips last night? What does that have to do with anything? Like, what is, what is your actual point? And this is what I mean. You get people like, like, New Face of Creation who say, What happened to the money from April 7? And you get this guy, What happened to the $250 he raised last night? Where do you think it went? Disgusting, toxic cesspool. It's a money pit. Why do you ask the dumbest things? Why do you say the stupidest shit? Like, what the fuck? This is what I mean. And immediately you get the crazy conspiracy theorist idiots. You know, so I, you know, and it does it pisses me off. These idiots who make shit up, like, oh, uh, I'm not, I'm not really going to Connecticut. Cat and I are going to be going to California to Disneyland, and we're blowing all this money that we're raising. It's not actually to, you know, pay the taxes and save my fucking house so we can have a nice life here. It's to go do something insane, like you know, we're going to the Cayman Islands or something. Like out of your fucking minds, seriously. Someone actually said, we're doing a European tour. We're going to do a whole European tour with this money, you know. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I, you know what I mean? Like, it's just insane. So how about this? I gave you the information, all right? I feel that the information I gave you is useful. It's going to have, a, it's going to give us a goal to work toward, all right? Now we know that every single bit helps. It's not like, oh... You know, if we can't raise the whole amount, feel screwed. That's not the case. Every little bit helps. As much as we can raise is going to help. The more we raise, the better. All right? And everything else is bullshit. I don't want to hear any other conspiracy theories. I don't want to hear any other stupid shit about what happened to this money, what happened to that money. I've already explained it all. And if you weren't listening, well, I can't help you. All right? <laughs> I just can't. But I'm not going to put up with this crap. Because you know what's going to happen. You're going to have the people coming in here for the next few days, completely making shit up, and doing stupid, saying stupid things. And I'm just not going to put up with it. I'm not, you know, like, I've, I've got to stay as positive as I can and maintain that positivity and keep things going and raise as much as I can and feel positive about it. So, you know, people say a lot about the power of positivity. It's actually true. If you can stay positive, all right, if you can stay positive, you can actually do great things. And that's how I need to, to feel is, like, if I stay positive, I can raise a ton of money in the next, you know, few weeks, put it towards these taxes and be in a much better position, Okay. <laughs>
Uzi, go hard. The defending bit cheers is how about a 6k tip gold per week to spread it out. Okay, see, we could do that, but the thing that I don't want is I don't want this to be, oh, every week we have a goal, and if we don't hit it, well, that's a fail. You know what I mean? Because the bottom line is, with Sekiro coming up, with the marathon on Saturday, MLB coming up, and my birthday week, do we still have about two and a half solid weeks of me streaming where we can, you know, raise as much as possible via tips? And, you know, it's a situation where I don't want us to feel like because we didn't hit a certain goal on a certain day that we failed. You know what I mean? It's not, that's not the situation at all. And the other thing is, as I just explained, every little bit helps. Even if we can't raise the full amount, every bit that I raise helps. Every piece that I raise helps. All right. So it's not a do or die situation where I absolutely 100% have to raise it all by mid-April. It's actually more of a let's do as well as we can. If we hit, the, hit it all, oh my God, that would be like amazingly life-changingly great and positive for the whole year. But if we can't, it's still good as long as we raise a good amount. You see what I mean? So... Let's, uh, focus on that. Let's focus on that, okay? Alright, uh, Real Talk Play Apex Cheers says, we be having a big goal stream like you did for the PUBG Marathon where you had a pattern goal, tips goal, cheer bar. No. No. You know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm basically just gonna do normal streaming, and we're gonna keep a tally of our tips, and we're gonna hope for the best. That's what I'm gonna do. Because the thing is, a lot of the things I'm doing coming up, like Sekiro and everything, I'm not gonna destroy that playthrough for the sake of, you know having a hundred things on the screen and sounds fucking playing and bars filling up and shit. No, I'm not going to do that. It's basically just going to be my normal streaming and we're going to keep track of the contributors and we're going to do a running tally of tips and we'll see how it goes. Okay? That's what we're going to do. Orgoggle 7, what a name, cheered and said, didn't you do a fundraiser last year for taxes? Uh, what you're talking about is at the end of 2017, now this is like two years ago, well, a year and a half ago, um, that was my state tax issue, where my previous accountant had screwed up all of my taxes and not done them properly, and I owed a significant amount of money for state taxes, all right? And so I did an event for it to try to raise as much as I could, and by the way, I'm done with that. That's done. The back taxes are paid. I'm up to snuff with taxes and everything. You know what I mean? Um, I'm all right. You know, in that regard, I, that was a situation that, thanks to you guys and your support, we cleared it up. The problem was... That situation set me back. You know, that was there was money that I had to pay towards the state taxes. I maxed out a bunch of credit cards, paying off the rest of it and everything behind the scenes. I had to pay my accountant for doing all the work. And so because of that, I ended up being in the hole. And that's one of the major reasons why I'm so screwed up with taxes this year. You know? And it sucks. But I, I gotta believe. Like I said, I gotta stay positive, And I gotta believe that eventually all this is gonna come to a resolution. Whether it's I, I'm able to refinance my house. Whether it's I have to sell my house. You know, whatever it is. There's gotta be a resolution at some point. Um... That's going to do some kind of relief. Because it just seems like every time I get through one issue, the next one creeps up. And that's kind of my situation, how it's been for years. Here's a real, one really shitty situation that negatively affects me. So I get through it, and then the next one. And then I get through it, and then there's another one. You know? When I finally became a full-time streamer um, in 2017, I was doing good. I had enough money. I was paying down my bills. And then the back tax, the state back taxes hit me because my accountant had fucked up. And that's what I mean. Like, if that hadn't happened, if that whole situation where... The state taxes were done wrong, and I ended up paying so much money to get it cleared up. Hadn't happened. I'd actually be good right now. I would have been able to afford all my federal taxes. I wouldn't have had a single issue. It's because of that situation and that irresponsible asshole that I'm in the situation that I'm in right now. <clears throat> I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. By the way, hint, hint. Give me your money. Sam Buga cheers. I ain't got no bills, but I do think folks should sell the CT kind of ASAP. Just my humble opinion. I can't. Sam Buga, I've told you a million times I want to sell it. I can't. There's no way to sell it. I owe. I actually checked it the other day. I owe ninety-seven thousand dollars on that condo. The selling or the the most it'll sell for right now. Yeah, it's worth. It's only worth around sixty grand. So I can't sell it. If I if I if I sell it, I still owe thirty thousand dollars or more on the mortgage, which I don't have. So I would not be able to do it. It's impossible. It's an impossible thing. I tried to short sell it. They told me they wouldn't do it. They denied me multiple times. Said I we will not do it. So I'm stuck with it. What the fuck? So I'm stuck with it for like forever. Until I pay off enough of it that I can sell it, pretty much. Nothing else I could do. I don't want the condo. I stuck with it. I can't get rid of it. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that was way too much. The thing erupted on me. There must have been an air pocket in it. That's not cool. But <laughs> well, we can salvage it. Look at that. Just put a little bit on top. <laughs> Way too much on the bottom. I'm gonna have to avoid that blotch right there. I didn't want that to happen, but... Oh shit! Okay then.
Major instability detected. Evac to safe zone. Me and one other guy. Request immediate AAR. The you winner! I am the winner! All others are none but two are lower because I am the winner! Ho ho ho! I won! When you watch me on a stream, you're getting pure, unadulterated fill. You're getting out of me my pure, uh, you know, opinion on the matter. For the most part, you, you're, it's pure fill. You're getting the real deal. You're not getting the fake acting fill. You're not getting a Muppet. Like I like to call some other streamers who, oh, 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 they overact for the camera. They have the dyed hair and they have to be this certain stereotype to make money from kids. I'm not like that. And you guys know that for 10 years, I've prided myself on being the real me, not some bullshit character to make money. All right. I'm not, oh, 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 oh. I'm not doing crazy over exaggerated live reactions like a fucking Muppet like these other people do, to get attention from you. That's not me. I'm never going to do that. What the shit is that? Whoa! 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 What the fuck? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? And that's how people are. That's, it. that's what they do. This is how I get attention on my stream. Something's going on. Ah! 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 Acting like a moron. Acting like a fucking clown. Because these fucking people didn't overreact, no one would watch them. Because they're fucking boring. It's like watching fucking paint dry, so you gotta act like a clown. <laughs> That's how it's done. That's how it's done. That's exactly how it's done. You sit in the bathroom until your top 10, top 5. You get out. Guns blazing, those fuckers don't know what hit them, man. I got the drop on every one of those. And that guy who I killed when I first left the bathroom, that guy had full level 3 body armor, didn't get a single shot on me. The next guy was trying to snipe me, but I chucked a grenade his direction, which made him move, which let the other guy get him. And then I completely got the other guy from behind. That's how it's done. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That is Black Ops for Blackout. Folks, I think I'm going to end it on a high note. I think I'm going to end it on a high note. Why play again? When I just got a victory, a resounding victory by playing it the way that everyone tells me not to play it, yet I still fucking win when I do, right? Save the pig. <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. Let's see the piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game, you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! No! Sell the house. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.